this Yo guys and welcome back to Tech Genie. Now today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new series to the channel. Now don't forget if you do like the idea of this or you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below so we know if we should continue on with the series. Now jumping straight into today's video, I'm going to let you guys know what this series is all about. Okay, so first things first, this video was filmed before Christmas but it's probably going to be uploaded after Christmas at this rate because we plan on taking a few days off of filming these videos. Okay, so this new series guys is destroying these guys. Now if you don't know what this is, these are batteries from the iPhone 4s and iPhone 5c to be honest it could be any battery from any phone it doesn't really matter what it is is destroying these batteries in lots of different kind of ways and the first thing we're gonna be doing in this video is trying to destroy these two batteries or at least one of them with a 1000 degree red hot knife so if you do like the idea of that don't forget to leave a thumbs up and we will be trying different experiments on how to destroy these batteries and of course we welcome lots of different ideas from you guys so leave any suggestions down below in the comments on the way you want to destroy this battery if it gets off the ground we'll probably do it once a month but let us know what you guys want to see as well down below okay guys so this is going to be kind of a vlog style video combined with like the kind of filming normally how we do so what I'm going to be saying now is we're going to go and get the GoPro that's been charging downstairs we're going to attach it to this to see if we can try and get some slow-mo shots we're going to put it in 1080p 60fps not 720 120 fps because the quality is really quite low res if we do that so we're going to try and put it in 60 fps see if we can slow it down maybe three times to see what the explosion looks like if it does explode so that's what's going to be on this GoPro here and then we're going to film the rest of it behind the scenes kind of on this camera so let's go and get the knife we've got the batteries there and some matches okay guys so you can see i am currently in like a forestry wooded area behind we've got a wall behind me here just kind of protect any wind so the smoke doesn't go back towards any houses behind me um i just kind of want to show you the setup that i've got I'm trying to keep it as safe as possible obviously we've got down here that's where the battery is going to be cut up on. We've got some gloves, of course, just in case, because we've got a fire that I'm going to be building, so I don't want to get burnt. And obviously, just in case there's any explosions or anything, I've got gloves worn, so should be pretty safe there. Then down here on the ladder, you can see I've set up the little kind of GoPro action camera, which should be filming directly onto that, so we can get a good kind of slow motion shot of the battery if it goes off. Um, I'm going to be kind of here, positioned behind this, kind of cutting it. Um, and then up here, you can see up here is a tripod which looks down onto this behind me here which is where this camera is going to be throughout the whole thing and then down here below me you can see here is where the fire is going to be i've kind of cleared away the moss and the leaves it's pretty damp out here so i'm pretty positive there's no not going to be any spreading of the fire but just in case cleared it down to the bare mud so we should be ready to start building the fire i'm going to start building it get it ready so it's ready to light then i'll be back with you guys when i'm lighting the fire let's go Okay guys, so as you can see, fire is coming along nice now, building up to like a pyramid shape so we can get some good airflow through it and that. But I bought some gloves and I didn't use them, so I'm now bleeding. I've cut myself, it's not going well so far, but you know what, we're gonna continue going, get this fire lit, and then I'll be back with you when it's lit. Okay guys, so I fixed the white balance, so it should look a little bit better. We've got some fire lighters and some matches. We're gonna try and get this thing lit. Okay guys, so I am having to record some backing audio because I didn't really say much throughout the video because I was the only one filming and doing the experiment so next time there will be some more audio but this time I had to do kind of loads of things at once so that's why there isn't so much audio. So the first thing that I had to do was make sure the fire was going to be hot enough. Okay guys, so the fire is now lit. I'm going to build it up until it's quite a big warm fire and then we can stick the knives in it. Let's go. Okay, so the fire's lit now, as you can see behind me here. I'm going to stick the knives in and try and get them hot. Okay, so I've got the batteries here, so I'm going to put these batteries onto the little thing here so we can get these ready just in case that knife there which you can just about see down here there's a the knife we can see if we can get that hot once that's hot we're going to see if we can get into these batteries okay guys it's definitely working the knife is almost red hot we're getting there so we're almost ready to try the first battery which is one that i don't think will work Ooh. okay so you probably saw then that the knife was in the fire and i managed to get the handle to catch on fire as well so pulled the knife out of the fire managed to get everything kind of under control and then the next thing to do was to stab the battery. 
Okay guys, so the knife is really, really hot. We're gonna try it on the battery now. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, so let's just try piercing it. Okay, so stabbing the first battery, as you can see, nothing much is happening. I don't really know why. I'm pretty sure the first one, nothing was happening because it's pretty much dead. Okay, so this battery isn't working, as you can see. I've pierced into it. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I bent it and nothing really happened. But it's not see doing now I'm anything. slashing it, stabbing it, nothing's really going on. I'm not really sure why that didn't happen on the second battery as well. Because it clearly says on the back of it, don't puncture it and don't do anything like that. So this one is, I think, pretty much dead. Right, what we're going to try now is just to stick this straight into there to see what happens. Okay guys, so that is the battery after we shoved it into the fire. As you can see, it doesn't look too good. I'm just trying to get it to focus, there we go. You can see all the bits here inside it. That's absolutely incredible. I'm so shocked that it hasn't actually exploded or something. It's pretty hot in hands, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hot, but anyway, let's put this down and let's try the other battery now. Okay guys, so it seems to be smoking. I don't. Nothing, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna explode, but it seems to be smoking pretty badly. So we're gonna leave that there as like a kind of symbol of the first one we tried. Let's try the second battery now. Okay, so here is the knife. It's looking pretty shocking. We're gonna stick it in the fire, in the red hot, and see if we can get it really hot. So that is the other battery. This is the new battery here. Let's try and see what happens to this one. Okay guys, so this is a really, really, really hot knife. I couldn't quite get it red hot, but you know what? Let's see what it does. Let's go straight in for the stab. No, oh shit, that's really hot. Another stab. Nothing's happening guys. See what happens. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty shocked that this hasn't actually done anything. I've stabbed it, as you can see, that there's a hole pretty much right the way through it, and it hasn't happened. So we've got kind of the embers left of the fire. So let's just put it in here and just see what happens like the other one. I don't think anything's gonna happen, but why not? Let's just see what happens. Okay guys, so the battery now seems to be a light. As you can see there, that is definitely on fire now. I'm gonna take a step back. Oh God, it is, it's inflating guys, you can see it. I don't know if you can see, that is, that is all to do with the battery. I don't know if you can see that guys. There it is, there's the battery there. Let's get this thing out. Ooh. Ah, it's hot. Oh. God, that is so hot. Okay guys, let's try it again. Try and pick this up. Ooh. Last time that was really hot. Ow. Okay, let's bring it over here. Wow. Okay, so you can see that has really swollen up. So, ooh. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's making a sizzling noise.
Wow. Ooh. Guys, you've got no idea how hot this battery is. Oh, Jesus, that is really, really, really hot. It seems to have just literally turned it all to ash now. There's nothing really left of it. There you go, you can see it all there. I'm gonna put that down there, because that's so hot. But look, as you can see, these are all the puncture wounds of the knife. Let's zoom in a bit. Look at that, that looks absolutely incredible, guys. There we have it, guys, that seems to be the end of this video. These batteries didn't really do much. I mean, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, it definitely makes a sizzling noise. You can see it there. It's completely ruined. But look, I'm just stabbing it and nothing's happening. So that is the end of the iPhone 4S battery, guys. Okay, so just having a look at the batteries and see like kind of the aftermath of what happened. As you can see, you can see all the puncture wounds into the batteries where I stabbed it. And they did kind of, I guess, the second one expanded and grew a bit, but it didn't explode. They did, of course, set on fire and it was a bit of a nasty smell coming out of them. And you can see all of the stuff that's going on inside it. And in a way, it's kind of interesting to see the batteries, but obviously we didn't get an explosion, so there aren't going to be any slow-mo footages, but hopefully next time there will be. Okay guys, so that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give a massive thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because we will be doing more of these videos in this series. So I've had to have a complete rechange and shower because I absolutely stank of battery smoke as you guys can probably tell. I'm wearing different stuff now. But I would suggest don't go ahead and do this yourself because it's a pretty nasty and horrible thing to do because the battery absolutely stinks. And if it does explode, ours didn't, but if it does, make sure you be careful because they are pretty violent explosions. Now, first things first is I don't really know why they didn't explode. I'm pretty sure the first one didn't explode because it was just completely dead. As you saw, I bent it at the beginning of the video and nothing was happening to it. And usually that's a good sign that the battery is not going to happen if you stab it. But the second one was fully charged and I'm not sure why that one didn't explode. Maybe we'll try it on the Galaxy Note 7 battery. That'll probably explode. But that's it for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And of course, we will be doing more experiments on batteries. I really hope you enjoyed it. Of course, leave suggestions down below, sensible suggestions that we can actually achieve down below and we will be taking a few of them and doing those in the videos.